Prior to bending stainless steel conduit, verify that the machines and tools are suitable for use with rigid stainless conduit and have been set aside for use with stainless steel materials only to avoid cross-contamination of metals. Use only new, clean shoes for bending stainless steel conduit. Proper equipment in good condition must be used. This prevents the ovalization of the conduit's threaded ends and ensures a proper seal when threaded into couplings or fittings. Never use lubricant in the shoe or on the conduit, as lubricant may allow the conduit to slip above the center line of the shoe, resulting in flattening of the elbow. Be careful when placing the conduit in the bender in order to limit surface scratches and scarring, which can become bacteria harborage points. Using an electric or hydraulic bender, bend the conduit until the required radius is met. Stainless steel conduit has more spring back than galvanized rigid conduit, so it will be necessary to overbend. Typically, stainless steel conduit requires overbending by 5 to 10% to compensate for the spring back. Once the necessary radius has been reached, slowly release the pressure on the bender. Carefully remove the conduit from the shoe once pressure release is complete and movement has halted. If using a hand bender for trade sizes half inch and three quarter inch, use steady foot pressure to result in a smooth and proper bend without deforming or kinking the conduit. Hand benders should also be new and suitable for use with rigid stainless conduit. Stainless steel factory elbows in trade sizes half inch to four inch are available as an alternative to field bending.